Iblis was the first person to use his own reasoning to reject a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, we do this a lot. That a command comes from Allah. We know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do something. And we say, well, is this really correct though? Is this really right? Like, is this really, I don't really understand how this makes sense or whatever. The first person to do that was Iblis. And this is why for us, and you can take this as a principle. We don't believe as Muslims that there's ever a contradiction between reasoning and revelation. I know, you know the atheists usually bring this up that there's, oh, that there's this issue between science and religion or reasoning and revelation as Muslims we don't believe that to be the case there will never be a contradiction between reasoning and revelation if you find a contradiction it is for a couple reasons either your reasoning is not sound you need to go back and check your reasoning or the revelation is either being misunderstood or you're misquoting revelation or it's not authentic if those things are not there, there will never be a contradiction between the two. So if you take a look at this instance here, where there seems to be a contradiction between reasoning and revelation, by the way, the revelation here is a command from Allah to tell him to make sajda. The reasoning here is, he says, I'm better than him because I'm created from fire, he's created from clay. Is there anything wrong with the revelation here? Is it being misunderstood? Is it being like, well, I don't know, what do you mean by sajda? Do you mean like lay down or do you mean... Like... He knows what sajda means. He fully understands the revelation. Is it not authentic? It's coming directly from Allah. There's no question of whether it's authentic or not. Where's the problem here? The reasoning. As we said, his reasoning is not correct.